everybody, it's Messi, welcome back. And I'm gonna be participating in Mermaid because I've never done it before. And um, I've never actually drawn a mermaid. So you can see that I have done a few sketches um, because I felt like it. And uh, I wanna do like fruits. So originally I wanted to do um, banana, but you know, I decided that I didn't want to do banana and I literally brought up inspiration. I was about to cut him open to see what color is inside of him, to see his natural, true beauty. But no, uh, I changed to watermelon because watermelon carrot corner. Can you all love watermelons? But <laughs> no, um, I was gonna do banana, here's, here's the truth. Um, but then this kind of turned into like, um, like a really elegant, pregnant uh, mermaid. So I just decided, well, watermelons have a big belly, I guess. They're kind of a big, <laughs> one big belly, but um, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what to do at the top. Let me, let me just think about that. Okay, so now I want to get like the green peel outside bits. I do kind of want to use this color because it's darker, and I just want to. Yeah, I need to. I need to wait for this. Great. So I've let this dry for about half an hour and it's not looking amazing. So that is why I'm gonna pull out my Posca pen and fix up a bit of the watercolor near the tail. All right, let's finally get onto our watercolor paper. And this is gonna be the finished result of today. So I'm gonna quickly get down this sketch and we can hop right to coloring in. I expanded the character a bit so we can add some more detail because the bigger the character you have the more detail you're able to fit in and one more thing before I finish up this sketch is I would be more than happy for you guys to name her in the comments and I might let you know if I use it see you later when I get to the border coloring Oh, I forgot to remove some of the pencil sketch. Her shoulders are extremely uneven. Will anyone notice? Y'all didn't hear anything. Please, please. <laughs> no, her shoulders are too uneven. Maybe that's how anatomy works, maybe? seconds in a blue like everything away <laughs> I've let this dry for what two hours at least already and um, it is still wet yep two hours and it's still wet and I am a little sad a little torn <laughs> uh, I really don't want to blow dry it So it turns out on the side of my hand that was there was some um, paint. So I'm just gonna get my sponge that is extremely drenched with water. I'm kind of very upset about that. Um, that's a shame. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just try to deal with that. I'm gonna try put in a little background. I'm gonna 
do this. Where's my sponge? Oh, hello. Okay. Um, we can do different tones so it looks more, you know, more like it's different under the sea because nothing is perfect in nature. Anyway, so I'm just gonna use a lighter skin tone for the baby. Mm, that was loud. But well, no, I'm gonna just gonna use this skin tone for the baby rather than uh, that one because I just want her skin tone to be lighter for contrast and um, you know, I just feel like it. Uh, I added some rocks to the bottom. I don't know if they really look like rocks. Uh, I hope they do. So and I'm just gonna try a little bit of texture with a different brush. Yeah, I was using this brush before. I was using the mop brush before. Alright. Uh, I really want to go in with the little details and you see this little mojo thingy? I think it's way too far away from her head and uh, it just doesn't look connected enough. So I'm going to get this guy again. Oh, let him. And uh, let's just try make that more make it more distinguishable as a green and connect it closer to her head. Okay, now that looks really weird. Okay, we all really don't like it. Oh dear. Goodbye. It's not lifting. It's not lifting much. Oh no, what are we gonna do, guys? There are so many things that went wrong in this. No, why? Because that's just my luck. Okay, I'm going to just try to blend it out into the surroundings and then from there we can lift it. I'm not too concerned that the line art went away because I was scrubbing it so hard. Um, I actually kind of want it to go away so we never had it. It was a fun idea, but it's just way too far away from her head. It used to look kind of, it looked fine before, but now that there's like so much going on in the background, it blends in too much, it doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to do another one, a bit closer to her head, and the line art is bleeding all over the place. No! That wasn't going to happen. Okay, that's, it's, I guess it's going to have to be fine. Um, let's put a bit more pigment at the bottom. I'm gonna do some touch-ups and I'll check back in with you guys soon. All right, so I have not really used my gouache much, so I do want to use it now. So this is the Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. This is phthalo blue and I feel like I can just get some thicker bits around um, in the background. So I'm just gonna give a light coating of water, um, just so everything can blend in a bit better. First of all, and second of all, so we have all, um, you know, it's a better, uh, nice wet surface for the gouache to be with.
Okay, let's add go on with the more detail, and by that I mean those designs that I was talking about on her top a very long time ago. So after I do this, there's no going back. These are not water. These are not waterproof, so I can't go on top of them, or it will get completely stuffed up. And I'm debating which color to do. Let me just quickly swatch these out because I don't remember what they look like. Oh, I'm gonna do a skin swatch. Okay, so it's hard for you guys to see, but I guess so. I'm not doing skin swatch. <laughs> Both of them, like a, a beautiful middle that, that it came with, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe we could use it as paint because this is um, wood based, I think. So, what if we use this as paint? We just get a bunch of it down and then we mix it in with some water, and then we can get even, um, like, you know, something between them. You know what I mean, guys? Why do I feel like a genius? <laughs> I don't know if these are water soluble, um, but they're water based, so. Wait, I don't want to use a paintbrush though. Let's just see if this works, just for the sake of an experiment. Oh my gosh, it does. This is a perfect colour. Maybe we can just you know, get some... Oh, no. It doesn't really act like watercolour, so there's no going back. We can add a little bit of detail and some pops. I'm going to add them to the corners here. Wow, I'm in love with this. No, I'm not. <sighs> this was just, I, I, I really didn't like it. I just started scraping it off with my paintbrush. It got, the paper got stuck in my paintbrush and it was not fun. The, the thing didn't come out well. Maybe I should not blame the supplies. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame the pens. I blame myself, but I don't know why I did that. I've never tried it before. I didn't even try it on paper. <sighs> you know, it's, it's fine. Let's just move on <laughs> after I scrape this off. Okay, so I added some black seeds to the tail because they were meant to almost act like two watermelon halves. But um, if you saw the details in the top, I tried to put seeds, but the paper underneath the paint, well, just there was water there and it made the pen feather out. So it got big and now they just look like polka dots. It's, it looks really random, but you know, I'm not complaining. It's, it's all right, at least it's not too plain. But I would like you to thank you guys so much for watching and I really enjoyed your company. Hope I see you next time and I'll see you guys around with the foxes. Bye. Oh, oh, wait, wait, don't go anywhere yet. Just one more thing before I go. Um, The face was a bit chunky on camera. I fixed that later off a camera, but the arm was also half blue, so I fix it up right now and yeah thanks bye